ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode here on Pastiche of Skin. We're playing today a demo of Dex. Do you know what this game is? Uh, no. So I'm going to assume it's nothing to do with anything I could say right now. Although, jokingly, I was going to say uh, Dexter. You know, the TV show? Yeah! Uh, it's in what looks like uh, the dirtiest hospital floor. <laughs> um, uh, a journey of some sort. Uh, what taped up. Uh, chest and whatnot. Uh, well, it's a bind, bind up chest, but obviously, like, what well, looks like cybernetics. So, Dex is a cyberpunk thriller slash adventure RPG side scroller. Any other initials you want to throw in there? Not really. I was actually going to go for LBGTQF as well in there, MTV. but uh, MTV, uh, VH1, and uh, the Blast 106. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of things going on in there. But, uh, Dex looked really interesting to me from its intro video, like the uh, promo videos that were actually going around for it. So uh, I'll pull down this demo to actually give it a try. I don't know where this is going to take me, because it looks like essentially like um, a fairly long drawn RPG adventure that plays like, say, Beneath a Steel Sky, mixed in with Flashback, mixed in with Parasite Eve, maybe. Like that's like if you if you have frame of reference for any of those games, and that's like that's jumping from like eighties like PC, <laughs> that's eighties PC to nineties PC slash consoles, then onto the PlayStation for the Parasite Eve game. Like that's a very very broad spectrum of how the game could be. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, like, it's a mixture of all of those. Because it's like an action RPG slash uh, adventure story and. Uh, Let's let's just check it out. Let's just watch the intro because they like, well, watch the demo because it'll explain what's going on a bit better. Dex personal log entry. Yesterday I was me, Dex, just another everyday nobody in Harbor Prime. Today, half the city wants me dead. Mercs from the same secret organization they call the Complex are hunting me down like a stray dog with a price on its head. Mistaken identity? Maybe. But I'm getting help from others who are giving their, their damn livelihood to protect me. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I find this really difficult to read because the text is quite small. That text is fucking ridiculously All right. small. Certified. I've been contacted by a hacker, Raycast. He seems to think I'm special. He and his contact, Decker. Ah, uh, had to be a Decker in there somewhere. They have a whole fucking screen there for that text. What? Right. They have a whole, like, they have an entire screen for that text. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, but I mean, obviously this was probably a PC port. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get me here into safety. Some whiny nerd called Tony's Place. I can't stay here long, but they're giving me time to get my strength up. Don't have much of a choice right now. Just got to do what they say. Need to make plans. Plan one, how to stay alive another day. Well, yeah, PC game. Uh, it was green that for uh, Steam uh, back in 2012. Yeah? Yep. So this is a green, uh, this was a, a Steam Greenlight game. Mm -hmm. This is what Greenlight was designed for. Yeah. This oh, looks okay. gorgeous. It was greenlit for Steam, but it was a Kickstarter campaign that got game together. All right, oh, cool. Start with some basic. When did you uh, download this? I pulled down this demo on the PS4 uh, probably a month ago. Um, no offense. On the PS. Uh... No, 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 this is the demo, so it would have been in the demo section of the PS4's kind of like new games. Really? Yeah. Well, Turn to run. I'm looking, I am looking at the right. The character on the screen, I the character I'm looking at here. Yeah, yeah, and the logo and all. But wake up, when, well, when was it released on the PC? Uh, let's see, early access was uh, August 14th, 2014. Full version was. Two. PlayStation 4. Yeah. Was published by uh, so it came out in July 2016, but there might not have been a demo at the time. Um, so they could have, the full game could have been out for a long time now, but the uh, demo wasn't available. I, I think one of the reasons why is this is the kind of game that if you didn't already know about it or you hadn't played a demo of it, you mightn't pick it up. Uh, I suppose that's true. Yeah, so uh, secondary weapon, first weapon, secondary fire, data shield, shockwave, primary fire, interact, turbo, movement, aim, boom. Tornadoes, viruses. Whoa. Okay, so part of this game is a f scrolly roundy shooter? Cool, I like that. Awesome! Alright, so uh, this is, I'm assuming this is like the hacking game. Destroy the firewall. Uh... Stronger attack. Hmm. Secondary weapon, L2. Yep. 
Yeah, it's actually, it's just the fact that aiming's a little bit awkward and it takes a while, long time for it to recharge. Ah. So I'm better off just doing that and then hitting it whenever it actually pops up. Boom. And then enter cyberspace. <laughs> no, it's more like a uh, lumber man. Access denied. Access denied. Access granted. Ah, uh, Pierce Brosnan. Ah, uh, Pierce Brosnan. What have you been doing since? Oh, that's right. You're one of the most popular men in the world. <laughs> Goddamn right he is. He was, uh, actually, well, you know, I mean, he's been in their news recently. The last couple of months has been, he was originally, uh, pegged to be fucking Cable. And that was, that was actually a long time. That was a rumor for a while, yeah. yeah. Didn't uh, that he was photographed both with, uh, Logan Hugh Jackman and Brian Reynolds. Ah, uh, they just all know each other anyway. <laughs> And Ryan Reynolds, this is a fucking marketing, one-man marketing genius. Uh, well, he does that kind of crap all the time to actually make sure to kind of... Um, make sure the Deadpool just leave your goddamn spectrum. Yeah, he's, he's going to be doing that for a long time. Like, essentially, he's going to milk that as hard as he can because he had to spend, was it, 14 years putting that thing together? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, if, you know, Ryan Reynolds wants to milk Ellie. <laughs> he can milk your prostate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, we'll start. We'll start with dinner first. <laughs> dinner and a show. So what the hell are those? Sort of, yeah. oh, I'm liking this. As I mean, this is not the main game. This is just a little kind of like distraction bit that's getting me to the next bit of the game. <laughs> I don't know. Actually, I'm enjoying this just as a simple shooter onto itself. Sort of, uh, oh, met, uh, like uh, asteroids. Uh, so I remember there being like. There's asteroids in the fucking car or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I remember like um, this is going back. This is going back a long time. I'm going back. You know, when was I in high school? Uh, first year would be so back in the nineteen years ago. Remember like acorn computers? Get out! Acorn computers. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah. So uh, there was a game, and it was a very like a, it opened up in a window, almost kind of like a, a M DOS window sort of looking thing. But yeah. It was, uh, you're literally just this triangle, so it was your mouse. Mm -hmm. You didn't move anywhere. Or did you move anywhere? Oh, yeah, and then you were turning around and then things would fly towards you and actually shoot them to get them, uh, knock them out of the sky. Yeah. That's asteroids. Yeah, but this is a very, this is a very basic knockoff of that. Oh yeah, well, like, even, even us itself was a vector game, so actually all the objects were, were drawn with vector graphics, so they could actually, like, uh, they were, essentially looked polygonal <laughs> back in the day. But it was actually, it was just like, you could only do like uh, simple shapes that would actually like fall towards you. It would have been like, uh, in real life, if you sat there and played a game, a hacking game, in real life, somebody could have walked up behind you right now and shot dead. Mm hmm You know, real life, not first versus whatever the hell's going on in that world there. <laughs> so, right, I'm actually into the main game proper. Okay. Uh, I'm going to recharge my focus. I'm going to pick up a stimulant pipe. <laughs> okay. Uh, so essentially that's for combat I think oh oh so that's actually items um that's ah there we go hey, so you actually have a, a combo system for the like, fighting <laughs> all right cool oh all right so essentially your field of view is actually shown quite heavily on it right so talk to this guy finish what I need to do uh I'll come back later what's with all this blah 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 it's just the fact that there's a lot of interesting plot going on here, but I'm just doing this to kind of get my quests going so I can actually get into some of the other gameplay. No, there that makes go. sense. That's it, like, Jesus Christ. That text is fucking all... You're closer than I am, and even you have a bit of all over it. Alright, well, I mean, essentially, it's just because the text is so... It, it's not... It's not massive by any stretch of imagination. It's not tiny either. It's just the fact that they... like. It, most people assume that you're playing games at a much closer rate than this. PC gamers have their screens usually about this oh, goddamn close to their fucking faces. Uh, meanwhile, with um, console gamers, you kind of have a... You expect maybe, what, five to six feet? So yeah. it's just not well optimized for it. No, that's it. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Pew, pew. Yeah. I just keep... No, I'm going to keep sweeping them. Sweep the leg, Johnny! Sweep the leg! You can do it. Leg. Fuck Chuck Norris. Oh, shit! Oh, yeah. I don't know, but at the same time, it's like I don't want to lose all my health into the first guy. Yeah. Oh, you can jump up to the platforms. There we go. Hey! Oh! Oh! Ooh. Okay. That wasn't a problem. Up we get. Okay. Um, oh. I need to jump up here and then jump to the next one just. 
boom! Oh, I was going to drum kick him to the death. Drum kick that motherfucker. Like yep. Carl Holly said. Oh, motherfucker blocked it again. I don't think you're able to actually buff him though. Hi there. Oh shit! Oh okay. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to kick him off the edge. Boom! Alright, well... Yep! Oh, I got stimulant pills. They'll keep me alive. Keep on climbing! Boom! Oh, shit. Sweep, motherfucker. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Get the fuck, you motherfucker. Ah, I picked up... Yeah, I can pick up $35. And a steel chain. There we go. Got a weapon. That works for... Oh, okay. Check it out. So I could have zoomed in. Probably could have seen the text better. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. That's great. Happens to the best. Happens to the best. Yeah. Well, anyway, I know this is where I need to go, so I'll just keep wandering. Um, This game is gorgeous. Uh, wonderfully detailed. Nice game? Uh, I mean, there's just, uh, there's going to be <clears throat> way too much to cover in just a quick look video here. Yep. But, um, I obviously there's just a large city with a lot of shit going on in it. Um, cyberpunk dystopian world with a backstory that you don't know who you are. This could very well have been, like, a sequel to Blade Runner at the moment, just it's by the way it's looking at. Well, you know what, I was going to say, it's going to sort of be bad. I was going to actually wrap up what call, but, uh, Blade Runner will work as well. I, well, the whole point reference in Decker, and she's kind of wandering around in a big hefty coat, and there's a bit of cybernetics going on, so there's got simulants and shit. Could very well be even like a Ghost in a Shell style thing, you know? Mm -hmm. um, no, one, not the, not the where was this game? Where was this game developed? Well, who was the dev what was the country of origin for the developers that made this? Um, Decker for uh, Deadlock Limited was a Czech video game developer, uh, based in Prague. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Prague? Uh, Alright. see, what is their legacy game? Rune Legend, about 2012, a Windows Phone game, plus game. Uh, okay. Mythology, good deck there. Um, but, uh, 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 and then Ghost Theory, now it's not out yet, but it's Bible Pro. Right. Hmm, sounds pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at it. It's supposed to be out in the... ...before 2017. What, the, the new one that they've got coming? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, do, what platform is that for? So, I'm, well, assuming, I'm assuming, they, assuming these guys are actually PC developers, uh, predominantly. No, this, this one's coming out, uh, well, it's coming out on Windows and, uh... ...Apple, but it's also coming out on Linux, PS4, and Xbox. Linux, PS4, okay. Mm -hmm. well, in that case, they're actually just trying to keep everything together. I mean, looking at the looking at the preview image of this, and it looks like I mean, it's a uh, ghost theory. Mm -hmm. Step onto the world's most haunted grounds. So, think I mean, for where I'm thinking from, I'd say probably the public of this. But uh, <laughs> this is one of those games where you're like going around, going, "Ooh, I'm starting with ghosts." Ooh, <laughs> 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 like, 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 uh, the most haunted kind of stuff that we're watching earlier on. Yeah. Which, by the way, do you know they caught a, they actually finally caught a ghost? That's how we had to find that one. Yeah, I got pretty much uh, not Goosebusters, but you know, I'm sure it was entertaining. Uh, so, we'll get back, we'll get back to deck here. Um... <laughs> well, actually, interestingly, it was it was announced at the game that it was a recession in 2012. It was meant to be released in 2013, and uh, the developer started a Kickstarter campaign. Right. And, uh, passed for 14,000. They reached a week later, uh, 30,647. So, there's definitely a group of, there's probably more people out there playing this game now, than there are playing Drawn Together. Drawn Together? I've drawn to Death, yeah. Drawn to Death. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised at that, man. I really, there's like nothing that would surprise me about that, because that game was utter garbage. Mm. I do, one of the things I like about this game is its use of uh, viewing angles. Oh, shit! Uh, you're gonna get bit up by two different guys. Well, no, I'm gonna use a gun to shoot them in the face. <laughs> Took two motherfuckers in the face. In the face. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, that was game over right there. That was a lot of guys. Uh, 
uh, like one of the guys had a gun, one of the guys had a tro crowbar, and they were all waiting for me. So this guy with a crowbar, the Joker? In reference to my... Your hatred of Jokers? That have Spider crowbars? Man. Yeah. Justice? <laughs> which, speaking of which, it's actually coming out soon, the next Injustice game, so... That might be one that we might cover here in the channel, because I'm looking forward to playing it. It looks really interesting, but I'm heavily perturbed by the amount of DLC and uh, Season Pass kind of stuff that they're trying to push on it. Yeah. Hi. So that would mean the PC version that originally came out. So they be they were probably updating it to that point, and then the ports of everything that came out since then on 2016. More positive reviews than the PC version. It was 16% on uh, Metacritic. There's a good reason why, because um, the biggest problem with actually, like, the, selling this on PC, there's too many games like it. Yeah. Meanwhile, on console, there's very, very few games like this. Okay. Um, I mean, literally, like, is there anything you can think of on console that actually plays like this? Uh, sort of. I mean, what was the game we've been up? I kept dying in, like a lot. Mm, I mean, that's not going to narrow it down for me quite a lot. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it says a lot about my fucking ability to play a game. Uh, oh, you mean Sonic the Hedgehog? Was... No. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck all of you in the back of your head. No, it was a different one. It was sort of like a detective game. If you know, somebody was kidnapped or someone's sister was kidnapped in the game, I, did, I fucking wanted, I wanted to jump over. They were like a band. It was buildings. Okay. It was a side scroller like this. Um, I think. That's not. I'm not going to good, good, good description at all. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it was a side scroller like this with a detective story. Yes. What I'll do is uh, I will see if it's going to be up, up the, on, on uh, YouTube. Oh, the channel. But the video will be up on the channel. Are you sure? Because we might have actually. They might have actually got that one up yet. We'll, we'll see, we'll, we'll see what happens, and hope to God. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gary the Gulls. Oh, Gary the Gulls is actually one of the most recent videos we put up. Yeah, fuck yeah, that. Yeah. Fuck that seagull. Fuck that <laughs> <laughs> They say I cannot grow human. But human is patented. I must buy it from them. So... I, I, essentially, it feels like this is like a one big cityscape where oh, you just. Not a hero. Not oh, not a hero. All right. <laughs> How is that? Oh well, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> but not a hero reminds me more of like Bro Force or like Super Time Squad or stuff like that. I think it's just a side scroller. Just because it's a side scroller, yeah, I suppose. But um, yeah, no, this reminds me of like Deus Ex as well, with like the nice big cityscape that you just kind of wander around. I mean, there's so much, um, plot-wise, just going on, like, I picked up, like, half a dozen quests, just one, like, just new quests, new quests, new quests, new quests, everywhere, talking to different people about different things. This just feels like a city full of, like, living, interesting stories that I'm bawling through. I mean, the one thing that, um... I feel like it's, you could be sitting down this for fucking weeks. Yes. Uh, compared to the drawn, uh, drawn death. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. So at least this is not the idea of the point where you want to throw it out the No, I don't want to throw it out the window. In fact, I, I want to actually play it in a context where I can get sit down and relax and just watch stuff happen in it. But, you know, that's just how it runs here in Fallout. Yeah, I just can't really do that. We just, I, I'm, play, I'm playing through it and actually just not really getting to... I'm, not, I'm probably not getting to feel the tone of this. Which is, which is a, a slow, methodical building environment uh, with interesting plots and stories all around it, but... I'm I'm I'm, waste, I'm I'm wasting this experience in a way, but I I, I honestly can wholeheartedly uh, recommend this. The controls are responsive. The animation is gorgeous. The story is well, from the what I'm reading through. Look at the fucking rat in there. Oh yeah, no, the city's amazing. The city's alive. Like the these people wandering around. It's just one of those things where it feels like a, a lived-in space. This is a really really gorgeous game. In fact, like, even like it's just the fact that I can climb up there. There's no reason for me to jump up here. No reason. But I can. You know? Like, you know, it's, it's a little bits and pieces. Like, they went to the bother of actually making this actually a climbable space. Maybe that's, you know, you, you can work out. Maybe you can go 
Yeah, yeah no, no. Like, essentially it takes me up into like this is like right, open places. Yeah, exactly. It's like, essentially parts of this game. Oh, oh, I took a lot of damage there. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hit that feeling. Oh, <laughs> right in the shins. Right in the shins. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, we're, we're stealing Duke from Family Guy now. Oh, uh, we're, we're reaching the bottom of the barrel on this one. Um, yeah, this is this is Dex. Uh, the demo feels really, really fun. It seems to be a much deeper experience that we can really kind of put across here on Cold Open. But it looks gorgeous, and the, it, it's obviously available for PC. It's been out for a good few years. But uh, on PS4, I could not recommend it. Uh, go and check the trailers for it and see if this kind of game style... This involves storyline, this long, slow kind of building atmosphere works for you. Uh, it works for me. Like, it, it tickles all the little soft spots uh, in my heart. So I'd recommend it to anyone to give it a try if it's your thing. So, uh, guys, check it out. It's on the PlayStation Network. Thank you very much for watching. If you've actually enjoyed us bantering and uh, disputing some facts about the creation of this game, uh, feel free to actually hit the subscribe button. It's right up there. Well, right up there, really. It's over on this side. And... Hmm? Comment. Yeah, make sure, like, like, tell us if you, if you played Dex, tell us if there's actually we're really missing out and actually like playing through is a bit deeper. Feel free to say so. And uh, of course, hit the buttons up over on that side there for any other content that's very, very similar. It's all stuff that's recommended to you from YouTube of stuff that we've actually done here on the channel. So I recommend you check that out. But thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye. Bye.